Sephora got me like that. Sephora got me so good. How are you gonna do that to me in my wallet? Girl, come on. What's good everybody? It's your girl AJ. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're just gonna hop right into things. I have a massive Sephora haul to show you guys. This is a culmination of everything that I purchased I think between November and December and while I'm filming this I'm gonna go and record a snapchat of how ridiculous this actually is right now. I know you guys are super interested. I'm super, super nosy when it comes to hauls. And I think the last time I did a Sephora haul was probably back in 2016. And I kind of just want to go back to what I used to do before, which was hauls and makeup. I hope you guys like this. If you do, remember to give me a thumbs up, you guys. I'm so close to hitting my goal of a thousand subscribers. And I want to hit a thousand by the end of this year. I think I can do it. It's pretty plausible. All right, I'm gonna stop talking and we're just gonna go hop right into the haul. I personally think that I have a problem because whenever I buy anything, I end up just putting it away and then I never pay attention to it. With all these Sephora boxes, half of them I haven't even opened, so I don't even know what's inside of them. It's kind of a surprise to me, so I guess like, Merry Christmas. There might be one or two things that you might not be able to access anymore because I'm pretty sure they were like gift sets only. Here's my first box. Girl, I remember them sending me this and I was devastated because I had ordered so many brushes and I was so excited, but they only sent me two. But these are the Morphe 433 brushes and I love these brushes for just in the crease. I think they're absolutely phenomenal and I can't have enough of these. Honestly, I hate washing my brushes, so just having backups are really, really good. Ooh, I got some samples. I got the Dior Eau de Parfum. I love this stuff. This used to be my traditional scent. If you ever smelled me when I was like a teenager or growing up, this is kind of weird. Miss Dior was like what I always wore or Juicy Couture, one of the two. And then I also got the Fresh Rose Hydration Cream. That's not really exciting. I got a NARS. What is this? I don't know. I got a NARS like power matte lip pigment in American Woman. Ooh, it's like, a, I'm pretty sure this was a hundred point perk. Ooh, that's cute. Oh, it's like a nude color. Ooh, that's like very, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna give that to my mom. I did spend quite a bit of money. I realized now that I probably bought some expensive things in this haul. I don't know why I spent a lot of money and then I end up just putting this stuff away. Retail therapy is a real thing for me. Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. I finally got this. This is in the golden glow color. I think they only have one color. Desi Perkins swears by this and she always has that beautiful glow. So I'm really excited to try that out when I get to try it out because it's been like a month. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze and this is the perfect bronzer and it's like this massive bronzer. I've kind of been obsessed with being a little bit more tan. I realize with my blonde hair it looks a lot better. There's one that comes in the white packaging and there's one that comes in the black packaging. This is obviously the one that comes in the black packaging. I think this is the darker of the two. Oh my gosh this is beautiful. Does it smell? No, I'm expecting it to smell. I've been meaning to get a different bronzer. I always use my Hoola and I think it's time for me to kind of branch out and try new things. I don't use bronzer heavy and as of lately, I haven't been wearing makeup every single day. I know this is gonna last me a long time so it's well worth the investment. And if not, I can always return it because I'm always gonna buy something else from Sephora. So that was my first box done out of six. So, and I also have three bags too. I just don't know what's wrong with me, you guys, and I don't know how long this haul is gonna be. I hope it's not longer than 15 minutes. This one right here is an unopened box and it feels super light. I hope that I didn't spend much money. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep showing you guys the samples because the samples are so, I always, don't get the good samples. I always want to get a bag or, you know, like a trip to whatever, and I can never get those. They're always sold out by the time I go and purchase things. What I'm super, super excited about is the fact that I just ran out of this. It is my Glam Glow Pelt Mud. You guys, this is my number one lip balm of all time. If you have chap lips and nothing works for you, trust me when I say this is it, chief. I love this stuff. This is phenomenal. I buy this lip balm once a year because you legitimately only need a little bit of it. Oh my gosh, it is so small. Okay, I'm pissed. I think I got the wrong size. Damn it, AJ. At least I got lip balm. I got it. Oh my gosh, what is this? 
why did I buy this? I knew that this was a ripoff. So the next thing that I got was obviously a Christmas set and I don't really know why I bought this. Maybe I just wanted to spend money again. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Travel Primer Trio and the aesthetic, not really my vibe. It's kind of like 70s electric psychedelic flowerific but i think because i wanted to try the primerizer i'm pretty sure that's why i purchased it i wanted a travel size of the primer water but now that i'm looking at this i feel like maybe i shouldn't have spent my money but you know you live and you learn uh, yeah this is tiny this is so small look at that hand for size i do have big hands though don't judge me oh everything is dropping that's how big the primer water is Look at that, you guys. That's whack. But it's fine. I think I can use this. I'll fill it up for when I go on vacation because I think this is safe to take on planes and stuff like that. So whatever, you know, you win some, you dim some. This is the primerizer. And again, I wanted to try this. I'm not a big believer in primer, to be completely honest with you. I don't wear primer on the daily. I think it's just a scam to get more money, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And then it comes with the photo finish, like smooth and blur primer, which if I do use primer, I will have this because I have so many samples of it, but we'll see. Look how tiny that is. It's like, size of my lips bro i think i got this as a hundred point perk but this is the stila stay all day liquid lipstick in the color bassy i think i've wanted this for a really long time i'm not really into liquid lipsticks anymore as of late it's been all about the gloss you know okay i'm just not going to show the samples because i don't think i need to show you guys the samples oh this is exciting your girl got a new beauty blender you guys i've been using the same beauty blender for so long once i get popping on youtube i hope that beauty blender you see this video please put me on your pr list because i just need to change out my beauty blender a lot more than i actually do so beauty blender you know if you come across this video at any point in time in my youtube career please feel free to reach out to me because my 2019 New Year's resolution is to change my beauty blender every three months as you guys advise. But as of right now, that's not happening. It's been like a full year. So I prefer the black one. This is like my favorite one of all time. I don't know why. I do, like, I don't really know why. I have nothing to say to you. I got a Bite Beauty lip pencil and this is, what color are you? It just says 006. Pretty sure that these were on sale. And I kind of needed like a nude pink because all my Kylie ones are running out. I've been wanting to try this cleansing balm. It's called the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Doesn't smell like anything, but I've been wanting to try it because I'm always like into trying new things for my makeup removal. So I'm going to try this out and I'll see how I like it. A lot of you guys have been asking for a skincare routine video. So uh, I have one as my nighttime routine, but I don't really have like a skincare routine up. I'm thinking about doing like a skincare routine basics video, like everything you need to know. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you do, because you know, your girl needs it. You know who I look like? That guy from Shrek. I'm like Loki with this hair. Next Sephora box that is completely unopened love this for me only one of the boxes have been opened so far and i'm hoping i find some goods you guys i think this could be like a tag buying a bunch of sephora makeup and not looking at it for a month come on that's a good tag i got a whole entire skincare routine just from my samples alone that's the um why did i throw it back in there like i didn't need it dramatically different moisturizing gel are you still recording yes this one i know for facts I ordered through the phone because your girl was just like really late on the $20 off, $25 off, whatever VIB Rouge gets. I think it's $25. I don't know how much I paid for this, but essentially like I called them and I was like, hey, I want this palette. And she's like, oh, the palette that's in your cart. I was like, that's creepy, but okay, I'm with it. So we ordered it through the phone. I was a day late. I'm one of those people. I couldn't go into the store because I've been very, very very busy this is the new nude this is my first time looking at this in person oh my gosh huda shout outs to huda for featuring me on her shop huda beauty page i love you so much oh my gosh this is so pretty holy cow wow 
I'm shook. This is so pretty. I just want to play with it now. That was a good box. Got some good skincare things in here, ladies. There was a point in my life, aka probably like after my birthday, because I felt like I was looking really, really old out of nowhere. I told my mom that I'm going to start wearing sunscreen and that she should too, because that's what I just heard is a really good thing for your face. So I got the Shiseido Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector, and this is SPF 42 so this is good for every single day wear i haven't tried this yet but i read so many reviews before i even purchased this and it said that this is it chief i'm gonna stop using that because that's gonna get played out i swear i'll let you guys know how i like this in my skincare video maybe if i do one I, at this point it's just like i can just throw everything there i also got the kate somerville exfoliate cleanser this is probably my favorite exfoliator of all all time because it is just fantastic super gentle everything kate somerville that i've tried has not disappointed they took away the goat milk cleanser which i love but i recently saw that it was back so i might go pick that up love this go cop if you need an exfoliator apparently i got some foundation this is the born this way Too face foundation you guys know this is my go-to summer spring fall winter there's only really two types of weather in the city that I live in. It's either raining or it's super sunny. I absolutely love this for me. I got the color golden beige, which I'm pretty sure that was my tan color and I'm not as tan. I don't know if this is the right color for me, so I'm gonna have to color match myself. Usually in between like three or four different colors, that's just my life. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Oh my gosh, look at that for me. Love this. Don't even know why I haven't tried this yet. Ooh, uh, that's thick. There seems like there's a lot in there. I got the color vanilla, and you guys know that I just love a super bright under eye. So, yeah, that's why I got vanilla. <laughs> Can I stop being weird? I finessed. I got another VIB Rouge gift. I got two. Oh my gosh. You guys, I have three VIB Rouge gifts. Oh my gosh, more skincare. I'm living for this right now. Like, I am so happy because I didn't even know I had any of this. Oh my gosh, so excited. Okay, what am I least excited about? This is the caviar anti-aging. I told you guys, after my birthday, like I said, I was like on this anti-aging tip, but this is for my hair. It's the Omega Anti-Frizz Dry Oil Mist. That's a first impression for you. You guys are getting a two in one. Ooh, that's nice with it actually. It doesn't really feel like I sprayed my hair with anything, to be honest. But my hair does feel soft. So I got that. That was, I'm pretty sure, a sample that they threw in. I'm so happy with myself right now because, again, I told you, I was on some, like, I need to look younger. It's my birthday. I need to be younger. I don't even know. But I got some eye cream. This is the Ole... Sorry, let me try that again. This is the Ulu... <laughs> I don't even know. Ulu, 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 Ulu Henriksen, Ulu. This is the Ulu Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, and I love their Gel Rush Moisturizer. I think that's what it's called. It's the orange moisturizer. I love that stuff. Like, for the life of me, I love that stuff. When I went in for the 20% off, they were sold out of this multiple times, and I think I grabbed it on one of the last weekends. Sephora got me like that. Sephora got me so good this year they had the 20 percent off for like three weeks like how are you gonna do that to me in my wallet girl come on we have bills to pay you know what i'm saying anyways i got this and i'm gonna actually keep this again i'm gonna throw this in my bathroom right away because i want to try this i'm so excited my eyes have been getting dry af and i also feel like i'm getting crow's feet like your girl is aging by the day let's you know try to prevent that from happening which is why i have the whole ponytail thing going on i feel like it channels like my inner youth in that same exact bag i have two of the sephora bright future concealers and me and my best friend swear by this i absolutely love the green concealer this is my correcting concealer i will always put it on underneath my foundation if i want to look extra beat on my usual days i don't wear foundation and i find that this kind of reduces the amount of foundation that i have to put on when i do beat my face and then i also have this concealer i'm pretty sure that i got this because of my best friend but this is in the color pommier and i think i just did this to like correct my under eye i don't know why i bought that i might go exchange that for like a green concealer 
Oh, this is interesting. I thought this was another gloss bomb, but I just opened up a new gloss bomb because I don't know where my previous gloss bomb, you can never have enough gloss bomb. This is the Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Instant Primer and um, Fenty, you know, if you wanna send me some of those concealers, girl, I'll try that for you, you know, no problem, I'll make a video too. That was a small little sample there that I got for that. Oh my gosh, we are making so much progress. This wasn't in a bag because I'm pretty sure I bought this with some of my Christmas gifts and oh, what pow it is a beauty blender set it comes with two beauty blenders and i thought it came with two mini beauty blenders but i realized now i got played and i was just like making something up in my head that didn't exist but i thought it came with two mini beauty blenders it does not those two are cleansers but it does come with the blender defender how cute is that should i return this though i already have one and i'm gonna use that for the next year this is cute it was just a beauty bundle and i'm pretty sure it was cheaper to get this than it was to get three beauty blenders which i thought at the time there was four beauty blenders in here there is not i don't know if i'm gonna be keeping this it is a cute set but it comes with like the pink beauty blender which i do love that's the one that i first started using ever and then i discovered the black one i just find that it doesn't get dirty as easily and then i have the beauty blender joy which is the yellow one which yellow is a vibe as you can see my inner corner right now not really yellow it's kind of like a neon green but we're gonna roll with it this one feels heavy but i think i know what it is it's a little bit of a bigger one she thick you know she a little chunky i love that my parents aren't home right now because i can say all this stupid shit. if my mom was home right now she'd be like aj i don't gonna go on my junk shout out to everybody who wanted to hear me speak tagalog that was my first time ever dropping some tagalog oh, satisfying asmr definitely not asmr okay i know what this is and i know why it's so heavy because i ordered two of them oh my gosh i'm psycho i'm actually psycho you know what i realized i might be missing a lot of samples even though i wasn't showing every single sample there wasn't samples in a lot of these so sephora step your game up so what was in there was not one but two um i thought that this was just such a good value i think i got this for 30 bucks which is the price of one of these things alone but this is the way swing both ways kit love that uh, it has the texturizing hairspray which is one of my favorite hairsprays i really really love it and then also the hair oil which that was in my august favorites like a really long time ago and i still freaking love it and i'm starting to take better care of my hair again next week you know i'm about to go get this hair dyed because look literally half of it is blonde i'm freaking stressed but next week i'm gonna go dye my hair so i just wanted to plan ahead and i was like you know what this is a really good deal it's amazing so i grabbed two this says that the limited edition hair oil is in xl <laughs> Your yeah, girl is hyped. That's crazy. This is massive. I'm stoked. One for home and one for my car. I don't know. I don't know why I do these things to myself. I think I got it on sale because Sephora was doing this thing where it was like 20% off sale. Again. Look, they just, they took so much of my money and I'm just here opening boxes for you guys. Box, new box. This is the second to last box, you guys. We are making good progress. <laughs> guys this i'm genuinely excited for just even seeing the packaging gets me hyped because i totally forgot i ordered this if you know me you know i love this girl this is my girl right here you know we got the bomb ass brows by desi perkins look how hot she looks oh my gosh i can't like can i just look like her like can this just like be me you know like can i just put my body like right there look how many products it comes with so many products this girl has me shooketh this is amazing she says i have a passion for brows it's my favorite part of doing my makeup En français, it says, Je suis passionné par les sourcils. Ce sont les que je préfère maquiller. I'm a bilingual queen. Love that. Desi, girl, you look so good in this. It is ridiculous how far you've come, and I'm so proud of you. You'll never watch this in your life, but if you do, I stand. 
I love you, girl. Can't wait to use this. I got a lot of makeup to try out. I'm super excited about this. Speaking of Desi and her brow kit, I bought this upon her recommendation because she swears by this. This is the Ulu Henriksen Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. And this is the green one. I sometimes really do get oily, but it's just nice for the reduction of pores. Apparently it reduces oil and the appearance of pores. So I'm gonna try that out. I got some lashes and these are lashes that you can only get, I think. Well, no, my local Sephora just always sold out of these lashes. House of Lashes and Sephora collection. This is in the style Natalia and these are my everything and I just hadn't been able to find them for so long so I'm excited that they're in my life. I got that and then I got two of the Huda Beauty Samanthas so one and two. I just find that these break on me super easily so I got two of them and then one of the Natalia's and I should be good until the next Sephora sale. I got the Stila Shimmering Heights Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set. And the thing about me and glitter is that it never happens usually and I'm trying to really do my makeup more this year hopefully I don't work with glitter often and when I do it's like very very rare I think I've only done one look with really like full-on glitter that's a lie I've maybe done two or three looks I've heard so much about this and I really want to try it out it comes in three different colors kitten cloud and twig I got the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna you know aka bad girl Riri this is the fly liner and this is in the color cuz I'm black it's really nice packaging luxurious you know like all of Rihanna stuff all luxurious all beautiful thanks Riri love you can I just disclaimer I would never buy this full price so I'm positive that I bought this stuff with the 20 or 25% off I don't even know how much I got off this is the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation <laughs> We already know this is an expensive foundation and we know that I love this stuff, but I ran out on my trip to Toronto and I wasn't happy about it because I didn't want to spend $70, but you know, I had to do it and you pay the price for good quality products. This is like my more bougie if I have a special event to go to or if I just, you know, not date night because, you know, let's say sex, I don't go on dates. Let's not talk about my sad love life in this really extremely happy haul. The Luminous Silk Foundation for me is just like one of my favorites. It's one of my go-tos. I got this in a different color too because the other color was way too light, but I can only purchase it online or I have to go into some Sephora store that's like really not close to me and so I just ordered it online. I'm so excited like I said I only use this for special events or if I want my face to look extra B. I was using it on the daily back in September and October because that's just the kind of life that I wanted to live. That one had lasted me for so long so I expect this you know do the same thing kind of spread it out but this is an expensive foundation but i'd much rather buy like good quality products that i know are amazing on my skin please don't come at me in the comments saying like girl you know you can buy maybelline to me the quality is different oh the last thing guys i'm kind of sad this has kind of been a journey this has been a whirlwind of emotions i'm kind of really happy that i opened everything up because now I know I've run out of some things. I don't need to go to Sephora to buy them. But this is the last thing that I bought. And I know some of you guys had asked me to do a review on this. But I never got around to it. So I'm sorry. But I can still do a review on it. Oh my gosh. The packaging is just... This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette and this is one of their latest palettes that they came out with. It is on the higher price point in comparison to a lot of their previous releases. I think their palettes have gone up a couple dollars. I always used to love the Anastasia palettes and I collect them in front of me right now. I can see four of them just lined up. This packaging is absolutely beautiful. The same packaging that's on the outside is the same packaging that is on the palette which is wild to me and i don't even know what the colors look like Woo! oh that's pretty it reminds me very similarly to my urban decay naked palette that was my very first high-end palette and i love that palette it's definitely more cool tone i'm kind of over like trying to make it onto anastasia's makeup page because ugh, it's just too hard i might still do a review on that if you guys wanted me to i could do like a date night look even though i don't go on dates like i said but i could definitely do something along the lines of that you know it is january it's still the season where everybody is cuffed it's not breakup season quite yet that is it you guys oh my gosh i can't believe i finally got through that that was a massive sephora haul and i promise you that wasn't all in one go as you can see i was opening up boxes and opening up different bags it was over the time span of like maybe two or three months but i love starting off the new year with a bunch of new makeup and 
I'm super surprised at what I got. It was kind of cool actually. Like I said, this might turn into a tag where you just leave your Sephora purchases for like two or three months and just open them. Anyways, I am about to close this video off. Thank you so much for trooping out this video. I know it's probably going to be a long one, but we only produce bangers here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this today. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. Follow me on all of my social media. My handle is at AJ Nera. Remember to give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.